Hi, this is Adam, and I'm the creator of Mosaic Studio. I'm going to show you how quick and easy it can be to create a mosaic using your own photos and apply a few creative effects to make your mosaic truly unique. We're going to start by choosing our main image. That's going to be the background image, mostly what the mosaic looks like. I can choose from my hard drive, I can choose from Facebook, or I can choose from Instagram to be a photo source. So today I'm going to choose my hard drive. I've got some San Francisco pictures here. Let's choose this one of the Golden Gate Bridge to be our background. And you can see, you'll see the main image that you chose. And then on the right is the canvas preview. Right now we don't have any tiles, so it just looks like our regular image. So you're going to update image. And now we've got our image in the work area. Uh, from here, you'll see this panel on the right. These are all the tools and adjustments you can use. So you can change image brightness, contrast, if you want to give it kind of a, a richer, edgier look, and saturation. You can bring in more color, or you can actually take color out all the way down to black and white. So now, now that we've got our main image, we can choose tile images. What I'm going to do here, uh, same thing with your image sources. I've got hard drive, Facebook, and Instagram. The pro version of the application also adds Flickr and SmugMug as photo sources. Uh, but here again, we're just going to work from the hard drive. And I'm just going to select this whole folder of images here. So that's going to load the images in. And you can see these are the images, these tiles, uh, that will make up the, the tiles of the mosaic. So if I click Generate Mosaic, you can see the tiles immediately come onto the stage. And now we've got a very basic mosaic. So now if I go over to Tile Adjustments, I can choose a lot of things. I can up update the grid size. I can make the tiles smaller or larger. I think for an image like this, let's make them a little bit smaller. You can see the mosaic redraw right away. Uh, you can choose t Tile Color Fill. What Color Fill does is it, it changes how how full the tiles are. So you can go all, all the way to solid squares and then all the way to strictly raw photos. So usually somewhere in the middle is a good balance. You don't want too harsh of an edge on the photos, but sometimes just squares are kind of make a flat look. Color strength has to do with how much underneath color comes in into your tiles. So that's basically how much color from the base image is sampled. You can see all these effects are in real time. You can see what I'm doing change right away as I'm moving the slider. Tile transparency sh changes how, uh, how transparent the tiles are. You can see I'm moving the tiles lighter or more solid. So let's keep that up toward the, toward the upper end at 92%. And there's also color controls on the tiles here too. So we've got saturation, can make them make the tiles black and white. Now you can't really tell the tiles are black and white because they're still pulling in the raw color from the main image. So let's boost the contrast in the tiles a little bit. You can see the the tile image is kind of coming into focus a little bit better. And then brightness will brighten or darken the tiles, which in this case you can see also brightens or darkens the entire image. There's also a few blend modes here. Overlay tends to work best, that's why it's the default, but we can also do normal which is more of a traditional mosaic you've seen. And there's some, other, there's some other blend modes in here for different effects. It really just comes down to experimenting and seeing what works best for your photo. So let's leave blend mode at overlay. So now we've got a mosaic built. Now if I go up here to export and share, it's going to create a preview of my image, and there it is. We can share it to Facebook or we can save it to our online gallery, which everything is backed up in the cloud. And uh, you, can order, you can order prints or digital downloads from this on the web version. If you're a pro user, you can actually just download the image right from here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, name this file, we'll just name it San Francisco. And I'm just going to click Save to Gallery. So now it's, what it's going to do is encode the image, um, basically take all our image data and turn it into a file. Now it's uploading the file to the, to the cloud. And now it's finished. So we can view and order prints. Uh, we'll just open this up in a web browser. 
And there it is. You can see in the in your gallery our image there, San Francisco. Looks like I spelled it wrong. Uh, the resolution, the pixel size, all the just the data about the image. And then if I scroll down, I can see prints I can order uh, and cart options. So as you can see, it doesn't take much time at all to create a unique piece of art with your photos. I hope you'll try it out and experiment with your own photos. If you want to dig deeper into any of these features, be sure to check out our YouTube or Vimeo tutorials on specific features.